dendritic spines and synapses. There are several parts of neurons and nerve cells. These are the synapses, the dendrites, the cell body and the axon. Dendrites are fibers which receive information from other neurons. The dendrites are tree-shaped. Dendron means tree in ancient Greek. Dendrites have protuberances on their surface called dendritic spines rather like leaves on a tree. Dendritic spines have receptors or synapses on their surface. Synapse means connection in ancient Greek. The axon is a single fiber which transmits information to other neurons. Axon means to go or to travel in ancient Greek. In most psychiatric diseases there are structural changes in the neurons and in particular the dendritic spines and synapses. The dendritic spines were reduced in number and density. These abnormalities are associated with immune system activation and genetic abnormalities which suggests that the change in dendritic spines is inflammatory in nature. This may be described as detritus. Synapse numbers are also affected and may be described as synapsipathy or synapsitis. Reduced numbers of dendritic spines result in reduced firing rates or electrical activity of the dendrites. This is correlated with the development of feel bad or negative feelings of resentment, self-pity, fear and dishonesty. There is often associated obsessive compulsive behavior. One of the unanswered questions is do changes in the synapses cause dendritic spine changes, or do dendritic spine changes cause changes in the synapses? At the 31st annual meeting of the Canadian College of Neuropsychopharmacology in Toronto, Ontario in 2008 Professor John Armstrong gave a talk entitled Development of Dendritic Spines, Synapses and Spontaneous Synaptic Activity in the Medial Prefrontal Cortex, the role of Agnematus pellicus is coli. Professor Armstrong found that changes in spine density and length precede changes in synaptic strength and number. He then studied the effect of Agnematus pellicus as coli or APC genes in dendritic spine and synapse development. APC is associated with the behavior found in autism and schizophrenia. These diseases are associated with abnormalities of dendritic spines in the front of the brain known as the frontal cortex. The APC genes provide a signal for dendritic spine growth. Professor Armstrong suggested that APC plays a critical role in synapse formation by promoting spine maturation and, in turn, regulating synaptic function. In conclusion this appears to be preliminary evidence that the dendritic spine maturation precedes synapse formation and could add further to the importance of inflammation of dendritic spines or dendritus in psychiatric diseases.